let's start with a really cheap chip brush and I mix blue and yellow a bit of white and you're gonna just figure out about how big you want it now this is real time so I'm just simply pouncing on pretty quick don't think about it you don't want the colors to be perfectly blended you want them to stand out so when I dipped back in to my green and my white I just left it on my brush just real loose more than one color is showing you can go over it a couple times with different colors but you want that contrast switch to the other side ferns are wider on the bottom and skinnier as you go continuing to mix yellow and white on my brush and I'm just matching my sides basically now we'll add some brown see how much deeper it got so now I'll take that down the center a bit and add it here and there So as I work and mix new colors, I make sure that I have a little bit of that new color on the ones that I already did. Now I'm going to work from the top down, just little pounces up top and then bring it down to meet. Remembering that my leaves on the bottom are longer top part and I can bend them different ways time for detail now so I went to a smaller brush it's a very used brush so it was a flat surface brush real tiny about a, not larger than a quarter of an inch thick and I'm just sparingly adding these darker tones that I want it to look more shadowed. So a smaller brush, I can control it a little bit more. Use that same smaller brush, rinse it, mixed in yellow and white here, and these are just for highlights. So it's pretty much the opposite of what you just did with your shadows. Pick areas that you would like highlights. Now when you put them next to the darker areas, it's actually very dramatic and it looks great. They play against each other very well. See how the lightness just comes forward at you, sticks out more. Almost finished now. We're gonna take a smaller brush, more detailed brush, and you're just gonna add it here and there along the stem, the center part, the vein there. not touching the whole area, just pouncing it on here and there. Which gives our stem some movement. And that is it. Not bad for five minutes. You give it a try. You can do it. Thanks for watching. Bye.